The component of athleticism I am doing for this presentation is balance. Balance is described as an even distribution of weight, enabling someone or something to remain upright and steady. Balanced is used almost all of the time in our everyday life, both physically and spiritually. Balance is used for simple stuff like walking and running, but also can be made much more difficult with things like yoga and sports. There are many ways to improve your balance. Holding yoga poses is a great option for working on balance. Also, challenging yourself, like trying to close your eyes while you stand on one foot, is a great way to improve your balance. Also, core strength proves to be a huge factor in how well you can balance because core exercises train the muscles in your pelvis, lower back, hips, and abdomen to work in harmony. Core strength also provides stability to your trunk, which, le which links your upper and lower body and enable you to move in any direction or stand in one spot without losing your balance. I would say the sport of hockey uses the skill of balance the most just because of skating on one inch thick blades on an ice surface moving at speeds of upwards of 25 miles per hour takes a lot of balance and control in my experience. Also, football requires a lot of balance, just because the goal of the game is to either run or receive the ball and not have another force make you lose balance and fall. Ways to improve your balance, especially at the higher levels as you move up. Make sure you're always working on your core strength, of course, and also agility drills help too. And when you do them at top speed, it challenges you to stay on your feet while making direct cuts and stops. Another way to improve balance in life is spiritual balance. Eating right and practicing healthy habits like consistent exercise helps, makes the, help, helps make the body feel better, but more importantly, the mind. Meditation is a great way to find balance between the mind, body, and soul that helps you achieve and tap into your inner self. Having a balanced life can be achieved by keeping focused on your tasks that you must complete and also keeping your relationships with people healthy. Whenever you are tempted by passions or desires, balance is what keeps you on the right track and lets you know to follow your moral principles instead. When you are driven to act by something like fear, jealousy, or lust, you need to step back and realize these things and allow your balance to take over and make the right decision for yourself. That was my presentation on the importance of balance that I see in the world today.